okay, another quick update on uh, what I've been working on with the uh, Stratix. Uh, on the left there is uh, the uh, Roscoe application that I've been developing, and I haven't done a whole lot with it lately. Uh, I've been trying to get uh, Garmin Pilot working, and as you can see, uh, the uh, uh, if I just move it around, the uh, the attitude stays in sync with the uh, with the other one. The reason there's a bit of a lag. Uh, it's just uh, Garmin's uh, display algorithm is a little different. Uh, they're both uh, updating at the same speed. It's just for some reason uh, Garmin puts a, a small lag into it, maybe to make it look smoother or something. But uh, uh, they're both showing the exact same, uh, you know, pitch and uh, if I can move it around a little bit, uh, the same uh, pitch and uh, uh, roll information and the, the slip skid uh, both uh, seem to uh, to work identically. So. So that's a good thing. Uh, the uh, the altitude uh, and speed also work on uh, on both. Uh, the only thing uh, that uh, I'll need to keep uh, this one around for uh, for the short term is uh, uh, there's still I still haven't figured out how to get the uh, the traffic and uh, weather to uh, display on Garmin Pilot through the uh, X Plane protocol, and I don't know if that's even possible. For the short term, I've still got this one, and I t typically keep both of them mounted in the in the plane. Okay, the way this works is uh, this application over here uh, is connecting to uh, a WebSocket interface that's made available the, by the Stratix, and it's the same information that other uh, EFBs use. It's just uh, uh, kind of made available by uh, uh, the Stratix in a more convenient uh, format uh, th that this recognizes and then translates into numbers that it can uh, display. Uh, over here, uh, you're, we're kind of taking the same approach, uh, except uh, on the Stratix itself, obviously you can't see anything, but uh, what, it, what it's doing is uh, there's, a, there's an application running on the, uh, on the Stratix uh, that's uh, connecting to those local uh, web sockets and uh, translating them into the uh, X-Plane uh, protocol uh, and then transmitting them over the, the same port that uh, Garmin Pilot recognizes uh, and then uh, Garmin Pilot just blindly uh, displays that information as if it was coming from uh, from X-Plane. So if we look on uh, here, this is just a, a, a terminal that's connected to the uh, uh, Stratix uh, just using the, the Linux operating system. Uh, if you look here, this is my little uh, application uh, running here uh, that's uh, that's actually doing that translation, and, and then that's just put into the uh, uh, the startup sequence, and it just runs right after the uh, uh, Stratix starts up, so everything's automatic. So that's how the information is getting from uh, uh, from the the Stratix uh, to here. Uh, there's a there's a small application that I have running uh, on the Stratix uh, parallel with the the Stratix software itself. So if you're curious, that's uh, that's how. Uh, uh, I got it working. D uh, it would be nice if everything just went through there and I could just use that for making phone calls but uh, uh, for now that's a, it's a usable solution. If I, uh, if I get uh, the uh, traffic and weather uh, working on, uh, on Garmin Pilot I'll, uh, I'll do another update but uh, I think that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.